So, when we talk about modality, now we want to know what are the demarcation or what are the markers of modality. Okay, so, uh, okay, we are going to discuss about some markers that offer associated with modality. Okay, so you can see in the slides here, okay, I have listed few uh, markers that associated with modernity, right? So we can see it, it may be in terms of advanced technology, industrialization, urbanization, formal education, okay? Um, it may be related to efficient bureaucratic government, strong market economy, okay, accurate determinations of time, religious plurality, low birth and mortality rates, okay, social mo uh, mobility based on merit, drastic and sudden change, planning for the future, and also deteriorations of the extended family. Okay, so <clears throat> what we can see is that globalization is the phenomenon which ushers modernity all across the world. Okay, so the world readily receives the modern winds of change, but can okay, you try to think, is modernization is something that should be accepted? Okay, by uh, by the local cultures. Okay, and can you think what are the negative impacts of modernization? Is the meaning of progress? As proposed by modernization, uh, okay, that the only yardstick okay that can be used to measure the achievements of a nation or culture, okay, when they mention that in order to be modern, then you have to follow the West, okay. So is that the yardstick, okay, the yardstick in order to uh, measure the achievements? The world is by becoming more modern, okay, and global, okay. But what about the human being? We are remain the same. Okay, so can modernization um, truly fully our human needs? Okay, or do they in fact alienate us further from the happiness that we seek? Okay, what are we looking for in our life? Okay, um, okay let, let's see uh, Japan, right? Look at the Japan. Okay, they are very modern society with high technological advancement. Okay, they have created many types of robots okay, with various functions. Okay, the robots are taking place as a child. Okay, they are taking place as a maid. Okay, they can become friends. Okay, and even they have the robotic pet. Right, they have robotic cats and they have the robotic dogs. Okay, as if it is okay for them to live without another human being. Okay, but they can live with robots. Okay, without the real people in the house. Is this the happiness that we seek? Okay, if that is related to the modernity. Okay, on the other theory, okay, which is about the world system theory. Okay, so just now we have discussed about the modernity, right? Um, and the other, the other one is the world system theory. This theory attempts to explain globalization by describing the relation between rich and poor countries. Okay, in the context of world economy, this theory di disagrees with the assumption made by the modernization uh, theory okay, that poor countries are lagging behind rich countries because of outmoded traditional mindsets. It asserts that social and economic inequalities exist because Rich countries oppress okay, and exploit the poor countries. Okay, so it is not due to their traditional thinking. The West has um, succeeded in colonizing, developing the underdeveloped nations. Okay, and also they can be considered as robbing okay, the people, right? Maybe they're robbing the natural resources, using the locals as cheap labors. Okay, and they dominate in the local markets. Okay, for example, what had happened in Malaysia? Okay, whereby uh, the British used to colonize Malaya to protect their economic threats. Okay, their, to protect their economic interests. Malay, Malaya supplied the British Empire with uh, various natural resources. 
okay, like tin and rubber that they really, really need in order to drive its booming industries. Okay, so you remember they have the Ford factories, okay, whereby they really need tin from our country. Okay, so we can see that colonization is still very much existence, okay, only in a less obvious guide. Okay, even we are now already independent, okay, but we are still being colonized, okay. We are no longer materially uh, colonized, but without realizing it, we have become mentally colonized, okay. So, our impressionable youth are uh, easily influenced by Western culture, okay, and um, they influenced by the Western arts as well, Western musics, okay. Which, which they seem like superior and cool. Okay, this result in millions ringgit, okay, being uh, spent on international concerts. Okay, they, they really like to spend to get the latest uh, trend fashions, okay, Hollywood films, television programs, which feature and also uh, which glamorize the Western way of life. Okay. And the concepts of global village that we discussed just now, means uh, mass markets for the West to sell their cultural products in order to maximize their profits. The question is, does uh, globalization bring about mutual good or does it camouflage as self-interest economic or just a cultural agenda? Okay, so now you as a graduate in anthropology, okay, as a critical-minded and mature anthropology student, you should be able to figure this one, okay, on your own, okay. Anthropology graduates have good working prospects, okay, especially in the field of social sciences and the humanities, okay. So in this topic, we have discussed, uh, okay, how are you going to apply the anthropology subject that you have learned, okay? And just now I have described to you there are many types of career that you can enter okay and among the sectors which welcome anthropology graduates that we have discussed just now like academia okay the corporate world okay arts culture public service and also non-governmental organizations okay you can involve with ngos as well okay to conclude okay what we have, what we have discussed about global globalization just now Globalization is often associated with the integrations of markets, technology, okay, and information, which crosses national and also cultural boundaries at an accelerated rate. Okay, and we have discussed about the theories just now, whereby the theories attempt to explain the process of globalization, include. Okay, uh, we have discussed about the modernization theory and also about the world system theory. Okay, so dear learners, we have come to the end of our tutorial, okay, for men, society and culture. Okay, ABXM 1103. Uh, before I end this tutorial, let us do a quick revision like, about what we have learned throughout the tutorials. Okay. From our first tutorial, okay, whereby, okay, we have discussed about uh, the concept of culture, okay, and when uh, we also have discussed about the role of man as a social being, okay, um, that is what we discussed in topic one. In topic two, okay, um, I have explained to you the methodology used in anthropology and also its application in research. Okay, in topic three, we study about the institutions of marriage and kinship and also its importance to social continuity. Okay, in topic four, um, we have discussed about the institutions of religion and how it uh, able to ensure social solidarity in the society. Okay, and in topic five, we compare about the different systems of production, okay, and its relation to the social ecology of man. And then in topic six, okay, related to the system of production, we discuss about the systems of exchange, 
Okay, and how society distribute its surplus to its members. Topic 7, we studies about the institutions of politics and leadership. And then we uh, learn about the social stratification in topic 8, whereby we also learn about the factors which determine the social inequalities. Okay, we can see that the social stratification is very very much important in the society and if you still remember we discuss it uh, sometimes uh, it is functional okay sometimes it is dysfunctional okay and we have um, okay describe social strat uh, stratification from the functionalism theory and also from the conflict theories okay and after that uh, in topic nine we have discussed about the ethnic relations okay and the causes of ethnic uh, conflict okay so i have give you a lot of examples that related to the causes of ethnic conflicts and lastly uh, in topic 10 okay i have explained to you about the importance and the usefulness of anthropology in our daily lives and the career prospects that are open for the uh, anthropology graduates okay so i hope that I have uh, delivered to you the main contents of this subject clearly and I think I have tried my best in order to give explanation from tutorial 1 to tutorial 5. So for further details and elaborations, you have to read uh, the modules provided and also you can also go through the other relevant uh, references that listed in the modules. Okay, So I wish you all the best. Happy learning. Thank you.